Hey family, guess who I got here today? <laughs> y'all missing it, y'all missing it. Look, y'all should be at the Serena Hotel today. This is fabulous. This, this spread that they have for, for the buffet is just second to none. You see the ambiance, the beautiful band, the jazz, the man. You come to Rwanda, you gotta come here. I hope I hope y'all can hear what he's saying because of the music. <laughs> when you come here, see this is kind of treatment you get when you come with Ty, the nickel of African investment. Right? This is kind of treatment you get. I'm just saying. Huh? What? <laughs> she said hi. Do you wanna do you wanna say anything or I'll say hi, but I'm cool and I don't have um, hi. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> where? Where? Alright. Alright, nice meeting you. Alright, take care. Uh, I love you so much. <laughs> now you gotta tell me who it is. <laughs> who is this? He's, he's, uh, he's a, I don't remember her name, his name, but he's an artist. He sings a gospel, gospel music. Oh, he's a gospel singer? Yes, yeah, really good. He has oh, a good voice. Oh my I, God. I didn't know who he was. I was just shaking his hand. <laughs> so he's a, a well known Brandon gospel singer. Oh, I'm feeling good. <laughs> Him, actually, it's my first time to see like, just live. Oh, yeah? yeah? Only on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so we're meeting international celebrities here besides out. Jamal. You keep hanging out with me, good things happen. <laughs> brother. That's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Miss Togo. You're a symbol. And this is Miss Deborah here. <laughs> mm -mm. All right, family, guess who I'm hanging out with today? Jamal Ali, I'm back. Uh oh. And what's the name of your YouTube channel? It is African Lifestyle. That's African with a K. A K A F R I K A N Lifestyle. Can't miss it. Red, green, and black logo. That's me. All right. And this uh, gentleman, you know, we hooked up like, what, almost two years ago? Uh huh. Yep. And we still hanging out <laughs> here in Rhonda. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been doing and, you know, what's your channel all about? Well, you know, as, as you just said, I came here the first time in uh, Rhonda, first time on the continent with you yes. back in 2020. 
Uh -huh. And uh, we've been joined at the hip ever since. <laughs> and, and I mean that, folks. So I just got to say right here, right now, off the top, uh, Africa Investment Guy, you want to check that out. You want to come to Africa, especially, especially those of you who are coming for the first time, you know, it's a new country, you don't know anybody. If you just come with Ty, you're going to get hooked up with all the right channels. You're going to uh, turn you on to the people you need to meet, the things you need to do, the people you need to see, all the, uh, the, the legal things that you may be interested in and, and need to know about. Ty's going to take care of you with that. So rest assured, this is my third trip back. <laughs> so, and I'm saying because I came back, came with Ty the first time, he showed me the ropes, that gave me the confidence to come back the second time and do some things on my own. So I'm just saying, Ty's going to take care of you. If you're in doubt about his, his service, his business, any of that, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, look, just put that aside, trust in him, I vouch for him, and just come. Well, just thank come. you <laughs> for that. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> we, now we're going to talk a little bit about you and what you're doing. And, but thank you for all the compliments. I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. now we're going to talk about Mr. Jamal. So tell us a little bit about what you're doing now and the business you're getting into and all of that. Well, as I said, you know, when I came here the first time, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought I wanted to get into the coffee business because I love coffee. And, uh, but just being here on the ground and being able to talk to people about the coffee business, having meetings here, meetings there, I found out enough information where I decided, well, maybe the coffee business is not for me, at least at, at that particular time. So, but I was open to other ideas and other opportunities. And so before I left, I was actually introduced to the agriculture business, uh, dealing with chia seeds. I made an investment in chia seeds one of the best things I've done since I've been here. I got 100% return on my money. Um, That's great. So it's just a great investment. Mm -hmm. And so when I went back home and kind of, you know, brainstormed a little bit and, term and tried to figure out what I really wanted to do here on the continent, I decided that agriculture was going to be the lane that I'm going to operate in. You know, some people come here and they do real estate, like Ty, he's doing very well in real estate. That's not my lane. You know, mm -hmm. if real estate is your lane, you, you, can, you can do that here in a very big way. Uh, but I decided I want to, to uh, stay in the agriculture lane, and, and that's what I've done. So since uh, Chia seeds, seeds, I've been introduced to the garlic industry, organic garlic. And I think it's one of the best kept, kept secrets here. Mm -hmm. And I say that because um, you got to eat. That's true. Right. That's something everybody has to do. You, you got to eat. Everybody loves garlic. It's very, very healthy. Well, everybody doesn't love it, but garlic is very, but very it is healthy. healthy. So yes. I don't have to educate you all on, on garlic. Mm -hmm. But I, I am going to educate you on the idea that garlic is a revenue-producing uh, crop uh, all over the world. Mm -hmm. In fact, if you Google it, it may be in the top 10 of uh, best in agriculture investments in the world. So if you go to my channel, African Lifestyle, you'll see a video there that's titled Garlic, the New Gold Rush. And I, I, and I mean that literally people are making money in garlic. It's a very safe investment. It's a very, uh, it's an ongoing investment. Uh, garlic's been around for thousands of years. It ain't going anywhere. True. Luckily for us here in, in Rhonda, the, the soil is so fertile. Uh, we're up in the mountains and we're actually growing some organic garlic in the in volcanic uh, soil, so very 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 fertile, and the bulbs of garlic are just huge. Uh, but it's an opportunity to make money. I mean, for retirees out there, people are looking to come here. Most of us are looking to come here. We're not looking for a job, okay? That's we true. want to establish some type of business. Uh, what can I do to make money in Rwanda? Well, you can get into the garlic industry. What would what do you think it would be? Let me rephrase that. You could actually create a yearly income investing in garlic. I'm, I'm talking about a yearly income, 15, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars a year in garlic with a very small investment. So now you're living in Rhonda free. Your rent is free. Everything's free because you're generating that kind of income yep. with garlic. Now, for those of you who are more aggressive, you know, you could earn a hundred thousand dollars a year in garlic and I'm not just throwing numbers out there randomly I got evidence to, to support it and to back it up so for those of you who are very uh, serious when you go to my channel look at that particular video and then 
email me directly for any questions about the numbers in terms of the return on investment, what you need to invest in those types of things. That um, address is samaya23 at gmail.com. That's S-A-M-A-Y-A-H 23 at gmail.com. And then just direct message me and uh, I'll give you all the information you need in terms of what you need to do uh, in terms of messing and garlic. And this is something they can do ongoing, correct? Ongoing. All ongoing. Right. Uh, from, from the comfort of your home. All right. In fact, I, I've got people who have invested in garlic who hasn't even been to the continent yet. Yes. See, that's another thing that I want y'all to, to it, it's, 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 a, it's a new day. You can invest with Thai. You can actually buy land from Thai. Online. Online. Yep. From the comfort of your couch in America or wherever you need to be. And you can flip it or build a house on it. It's totally up to you. The it's title right. comes in your name. So exactly. That's correct. So you can buy garlic from the comfort the same of your home. Thing. Yes. Same thing. Uh -huh. And start getting a return on your money while you're at home, mm -hmm. while you're waiting to come to, to Africa. So things are different. We're making an impact here uh, as, as African Americans here on, on the continent. We're bringing uh, some value to others like yourselves. Uh, hey, just just come. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, just come. When you come, you'll see things that you haven't seen before. You'll see opportunities maybe that I don't even see. Maybe that Ty doesn't see, right? Correct, that's true. But you can't see it if you... In, Unless you're not you hear. here, exactly. So you gotta come. And it's also so easy too to to get into business here. So for those of you who has the entre entrepreneurial spirit, mm -hmm. this is definitely the spot because you know they're not gonna force you to go through a lot of red tape like back back home. Exactly. The government makes it very easy for you to do business here in Rwanda. They they realize that they need uh, capital from outside the country uh, for people like ourselves. And they're opening up their doors. Uh, they're opening up their their uh, legal system to make it easy for us to do business here. Whether it's buying a house or whether it's investing in garlic or whatever, they make it easy for you to do that. So once again, what's your contact information? You want to go to African Lifestyle, A F R I K A N Lifestyle. That's on YouTube. You can get in contact with me there uh, via email at samaya23 at gmail.com. That's S A M. A Y A H 23 at gmail.com. Samaya is my daughter's name, by the way. I had to put a tribute in for her. Oh, that's great. That's um, good. And then for those of you, uh, you can message me directly there and then we can exchange phone numbers and we can go from there in terms of uh, putting you in any other, uh, any other way you need to get in contact with me. Yeah. All right. So do you have any other last words you want to add? I would say if, you, if you're looking at this video, and I mean this seriously and literally. If you're looking at this video, that means that the universe is calling you to come to Rwanda specifically and come to Africa generally. Rwanda may not be the place for you, but it is for us. That's why we're here. So exactly. I will say if you're watching this video, it's meant for you to come here. Mm -hmm. And I mean that seriously. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Jamal. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. All right, bro. I appreciate you, man. Uh huh. All right. Peace and love. Thank you.